This is the Daredevil stuntman, Gary Davis. <laughs> okay, so what was your starting stunt? My starting stunts? Yes. Um, I was moving back from Southern California to Northern California where I grew up. And so I was staying with my parents and uh, I got a phone call out of the blue from a guy named John Strong. to was with Viacom, which is CBS. And uh, he said, we're doing a television pilot for a new series called Evil Knievel. We have a young actor named Sam Elliott playing Evil Knievel. And we've spoken to all the stunt agencies and all the guys are supposed to be motorcycle guys, and we can't find anybody that will jump ramp to ramp while we blow both the ramps up. But it sounded okay to me. And uh, so I said, sure, that would be fun. And I went down to LA and joined the Screen Actors Guild and quit being a daredevil and became a stuntman. And they're very different things. And I don't like it when people mix that term up. The news always does. Some idiots climbing, free climbing the outside of a high rise or something. Uh -huh. And they keep calling him a stuntman. And yeah. going, <laughs> evil had, evil, we should back up a little bit. When I told you that he, jumped at Beeline Raceway in Phoenix, and I went out and passed him up on a wheelie and stuff. He chased us for as far as he could, and then we went off into the desert. He and I had never spoken a civil, a civil word, ever. We were always challenging him and doing all that kind of stuff. And at that time, I wasn't even jumping yet. I was just playing early. And uh, so he, he didn't like me, period. Uh -huh. And so when the studio told him that they hired Gary Davis to do the stunts in the movie, he went living. And he took all his equipment away from the company or tried to take it off. And he really couldn't under contract or whatever. So, I mean, we weren't using his truck and trailer. We made up one, you mm -hmm. know, and, and all that kind of stuff was already made up. But uh, you know, he gave us some trouble. And then, it disappeared. He wasn't around. And when it came time for me to do the show that day, I did a bunch of wheelies and stuff like, mostly for me, because it helps me get in sync with my bike and warm up and confidence before I'm going to jump. Or I'm doing all that as part of the show. And apparently he showed up at Beeline Raceway, worked his way up into the announcer area or somewhere up there and uh, was watching but didn't let him know he was there. And so I made the jump and blew the ramps up and all that kind of stuff. And then, as a stuntman, I'm done. You know, now Sam Elliott goes over and picks up the thing and talks uh -huh. and does all that. So they said, "You can go back to the hotel if you want, Gary." So they, they called me a car and sent me back to the hotel. Sam said that shortly after, Evil got on the on the PA system and said, "Ladies and gentlemen, you've seen one of the greatest stunts you'll ever see." Wow, that's really nice. After that, were you on speaking terms after that? We didn't speak again until he called and woke me up. And said, you gotta come to, you gotta come to England, take my place. Well, look who finally made it. Sorry I'm late. Hey, Leo. What's up, man? <laughs> How are you? This is some footage that we've never shared. Shot by Brenda and Earl Castine, it was evil and it was his longtime friends and crew people. But it's it's Super 8, the first job you were ever on. Yeah, that's my. Thanks, Sam. Or that might have been you. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you can't tell who's who. No. There's Sam. Yeah. Sam and Tracy. I was a blonde. Uh, we put a piece of dark hair behind my helmet every time I put the helmet on. The bike she's on is my DSA. Now that would be you. Good, good question. Yeah, that's me. And it's Danny Rogers is doubling her on my DSA. That DSA is sitting up on the shelf. So these are your ramps? Yep.
That was huge the flat. Crisscross. I don't know that I ever saw this movie. It's not bad, it's just, it's really cool, it's like an initial, I like it because it's your first gig. Absolutely. That's the significance of it. Just amazing. And in a second you're going to see Evil in his street clothes walking by, there he is, with his cane. This movie's about me. Here I am. <laughs> Here comes Gary. Oh. bad because everybody's so much better now. <laughs> yeah, but you were the pioneer. You can see. No, see, I got my brown hair on the back. Of <laughs> Looks like you had a good time. That's it. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, it's one of my favorite pieces in the archive for sure. Happy landings, y'all.